Just like any other skill, programming has a steep learning curve. You have to jump through a lot of hurdles to get better at it. Initially, you'll be on a roll. You'll be able to understand a lot of concepts pretty quickly because everything is new to you. But just when you step into the advanced concepts and start building projects, you have no choice but to react like Joey when he tries to do math. And that's inevitable. Every successful programmer you see on the internet had faced such situations when they were learning to code, just like you are right now. But you can always learn from their mistakes and speed up your learning process. And that's what we're going to look at in this video. I've compiled a list of five mistakes that play a major role in disrupting your progress. Before that, I would like you to subscribe to my channel and come on, you know you want to. Number one, do not solve a problem before you fully understand it. This is literally the basic thing that we were told since middle school when we appeared for exams. If you are faced with a problem, do not think that if you just look it up in the internet, copy paste the code, you're done. Because if you face a similar issue, you will have no idea how to debug it and the same solution might not work here. That's why understand the issue first, look for the solution, understand the solution and then use it in your code. And that's what people mean when they say that you can use other people's code. Number two, take your time to learn stuff. I'm not sure who set the benchmark for how long it should take to learn a specific technology like uh, I've seen people say that HTML and CSS one week JavaScript one month no JS Express uh, that is another week there is no standard deadline to learning these technologies you are free to take your time the reason is people learn at different paces one might be able to understand and grasp concepts pretty quickly but for other people it might take a little while like me but it's okay at the end of the day all that matters is have you learned something instead if you just rush the progress you're not going to be learning anything and you're just fooling yourself trust me you'll feel like you're making progress but you're really not number three don't follow into the shiny object syndrome. Let me explain. I can't stress how important this is. Programming is divided into various domains. There is web development, there is app development, there is cybersecurity, machine learning, and uh, there is blockchain and so much more. So when you pick one and start learning, there is obviously going to be some challenges. But just when you start encountering such challenges, your brain starts to get distracted and looks for other things that is as exciting as the one that you're pursuing now. The same thing applies with kids as well. If they want a toy and if they did get one, they would still want another toy that is way cooler than this. They would never get satisfied with what they have now because their mind is always looking for that excitement that they get when they receive the toy. It's the same thing here. The initial excitement you had when you picked the domain and started learning, you will slowly start to fade away as the challenges arise. So your brain will start to look for the shiny objects that is other great domains so that you will get that initial excitement one more time. This is a vicious cycle and this is what we call shiny object syndrome. The best advice to prevent this is pick a domain, spend a decent amount of time, build projects, learn new things and then decide whether you want to pursue this or not. Because when you spend a decent amount of time in a specific domain, you will be able to understand what's the domain about and how hard it is and whether it is for you. Number four, DSA alone is not enough and I have my reasons. Students spend a ridiculous amount of time just lead coding and I'm not saying it's entirely wrong. What you don't see is when you do finally get a job, what do you think you'll be doing? Solving lead code problems? Although some people might be doing lead code during work hours. Okay, serious now. Most of the time, you'll be resolving bugs, building features, and resolving a long list of PR comments. So why not do those things before you actually do get a job? Just for example, you can contribute to open source, you can build projects, you can uh, uh, build a startup company on your own. Just saying, these things can really increase your love for programming, it will enhance your skills, and you'll be more confident when you join a company. By the way, these things can also tell you whether programming is for you or not. Just saying. Last of all, never hesitate to ask for help. It is a very small ego thing, but it will take you to great heights. No matter how skilled you think you are, there's always going to be someone who's better than you. And that's just how life is. If you think you need help, just throw your ego away and go and ask someone. Nobody is going to judge you. Even if they did, who cares? You're the one who's getting benefited, right? And that's what you should focus on. Just a small disclaimer here, just following these five suggestions will not make you an expert programmer. There are a lot of things that you must deal with and there is just no shortcut to skip that. But these things can really smooth out your programming journey and speed up your progress. So all the best for your career and I'll see you in the next one.